I'm the manager of programming, so what that means is I oversee Shaw TV and Shaw Multicultural Channel and the programs that we produce for those channels. So for those individual programs, I act as executive producer for programs such as Urban Rush and The Express. Producer for our promotions and sponsorship department. So operations manager in Winnipeg. My name's Jeff Resnick. I am currently manager of sales integration in national sales, and I've been with the company for almost four years now. I studied film at Capilano, it was a college back then, it's now a university, so I studied film there and then when I moved into TV I studied broadcasting at BCIT. I went to Langara after high school for two years and kind of decided, okay, well, I was majoring in political science, what am I going to do after? Should I transfer to UBC and become a political scientist and I didn't necessarily know what that was, so uh, journalism was something that always really interested me. and. I love sort of the fast pace, the news, current events, and that, that type of world. And so I went to BCIT and graduated from the Broadcast Journalism Program in 2008. It's been a roller coaster ride for me. It's been actually really incredible. It, you know, from moving into the, the service end of it, I was lucky enough to be have an opportunity to move, go to Whistler. I spent two years in Whistler and did some groundwork before the Olympics came and helped out. Uh, Whistler had just been purchased by Shaw, so helped support them transition into a Shaw branch. And two years into that, I was asked to go to Campbell River, BC, Northern Vancouver Island. They just purchased that system and I traveled over there, spent two years there, <laughs> and again helped them transition into a Shaw branch. And from there, was asked to come to Winnipeg and go from 40 people in that branch to 250 people in this department. So it was, it's was it been an amazing journey for me. And in a very short time, it was just, it, it's, it's been a blur, honestly. But um, yeah, some unbelievable opportunities for me. Well, the first job, well, I was in university. I needed a part-time job just to make some extra money. Uh, one of my friends worked here. He said it's a great company to work for. And it, it's in the technology sector, or sector I mean, it's internet, it's phone, it's cable, it's everything I like to do and I'd never held a real sales position before so it kind of inspired me to go try that. So I came in for an interview, um, it was a pretty good interview, nailed it, got the job, <laughs> so yeah. Well, a typical day for me, I get in in the morning and first thing I've got is a bunch of emails I need to look after. Um, generally they're just from the night before or from people who get here before me. Um, but it'll just be minor requests for reports or asking uh, for a small change in CSX or maybe even just password resets on CSX, something like that. Once I'm through with that, then I start focusing on the core product projects that I have going on at that time. Um, currently, the biggest project I'm working on right now is called SCORE and that's just a site where we can go in and see our sales like we can do in CSE right now. Um, see their posted, cancelled, their recorder status and that's going to be actually available for everybody in the whole company so all frontline employees will get the same thing that CSEs do right now. Well for us it's, uh, most of it is we have a very large department and it's about, we manage the, the service and delivery of all our products. And so a lot of the work we do is managing our people. And we have, uh, in this department, we have 15 supervisors, and each with large teams. So it's people, 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 is the biggest thing that we deal with, is, is supporting our customer experience and supporting all, the, all our staff that meet with those customers every day. You know, when I started out, I, uh, I was hoping originally to get into film, and I had these grand illusions of being a film director, and I was really drawn with how that medium can influence the emotions of the viewers. Over time, I did gravitate towards broadcasting and television, but I still brought that passion that I have with creating an emotion in a product into TV. It's definitely the opportunity to follow your passion. I've been grateful enough to work for a company and to have a career where I'm definitely living my passion. I love what I do every, every day. And I think that applies to everybody in this company. The opportunities are there. What's important to me is that freedom, is that we're able to do what we want 
as we see fit for the business. Number one thing is the clearing or the, the space that the company allows for somebody like myself to be creative and manage. And I have, I have a thousand ideas of how to make things better. And I have a leadership team, my regional manager and the vice president, and ultimately up to Brad, you know, give us that clearing to, to do what's best for our customers and do what's best for our staff. You know, I think it's, to me it's, when they say we're unleashed and empowered, I truly believe it. And for me to, to have a role in, the, in making those changes for our customers and for our staff and, and making them successful and being able to support them and make them successful drives me to come to work every day. I think it's, it's an unbelievable opportunity and I, I find very rewarding to see people grow. You know, I look outside that door and I watch people who have come just in the year that I've been here grow and, and, and have that clearing, that opportunity for them to be creative and, and come up with these really incredible ideas to, to make our business and our customer experience better. So it's very exciting. I was a CSE slash ISR selling core products on the phone for about two years before I became support. Um, once it became support, that's when it really started, I started realizing that this is a great company and there's a lot of potential here. Um, moving up from there, I just got more and more into a development role, more a business process re-engineering role. And once I was able to start taking on those sorts of responsibilities, I realized that I love what I do and that I could really make a career out of this and stay here for a very long time. We're empowered to do whatever it takes to make sure that customer has a great experience. And when I heard that, that was my, this is the place. This is where I'm going to thrive. And this is the, that clearing, that space for me was, oh, it's just, I'm going to have fun here. I think that if, um, if a Shaw employee wants to get involved in production and in, in Shaw TV, that the best thing to do would be to apply to our volunteer program because Shaw TV has an amazing volunteer program and the producers and the directors and the supervisors here are really great about sort of cultivating this new culture of um, volunteers and, and kind of getting you to getting you familiar with the world of TV and Shaw TV and sort of our community partners and culture and that's probably you're gonna get the best experience you could possibly get is to be in the industry and get kind of come in wholeheartedly and that Shaw TV is really great at facilitating that and the culture itself is, is great, it's fast paced, it's fun and any Shaw employees want to take the chance. I think that coming down to the studio, we welcome volunteers, we, we love them, they help us out a lot. So, I would say network. Yeah. Networking with other people in the business is vital. Yeah. Um, too often is it easy to get caught up in your day to day business are doing calls. I mean, calls are number one for CSE, of course. Um, but when somebody emails you with, an, with a question or if you've got a coaching, I mean, really own it and follow up with it. Build the relationships with people in other areas of the business and people will remember your name. And totally. as that happens more and more, uh, you'll, you'll gain these networking opportunities and it, it's really vital to your success. And um, progress in your career. My advice always is to seek out opportunities. Always just be hunting for opportunities and then, then jump on them and do them and follow through and, and don't wait. But look for the opportunities and look for opportunities that you're passionate about, whether it's in a company or anything that you do. Find what you're passionate about, identify those opportunities and jump on them right away. Get motivated, show a little bit of ambition and do what you love, it's going to work out for you.